nose, eyes, ears. So the Mexican Holti is gonna help you to redirect and give you control to the nose, eyes, ears way of being. We control how the nose moves. Also, we control what the eyes see. It's literally a, a good training wheels for us to keep the nose and the eyes in one direction. Hey guys, my name is Cesar Milan, and I wanna send you a lot of light, a lot of life, a lot of love from the DPC, a place that we make sure animals feel safe, peace, and love. But today, I wanna show you how to use the leash in a way, what I call it, the Mexican halter. So the reason why I love to teach the Mexican halter is because it helps people who are beginners, it helps dogs who are learning to be in a follower state of mind, means they can not play or explore. Remember, what controls the dog is this order, the nose, the eyes, and the ears. So at the moment you have the Mexican halter in place, you're gonna be able to remove the nose away from the ground, you're gonna be able to keep the, the focus on the eyes. And so when you give affection or encouragement with your sound, you now tap into what they actually call nose, eyes, ears. This is the way communicate. This is the way dogs communicate to each other. This is the way dogs communicate to the environment. So when you see a dog in any place in the world, nose, eyes, ears. So the Mexican Holti is gonna help you to redirect and give you control to the nose, eyes, ears way of being. Okay, so this is what you need. You need, obviously, your dog, right? You need your environment, an environment that it feels safe, peace, and love. You need your energy. You need to come with a calm, confident, love, and joy energy. You need to understand the philosophy, obviously, how dogs learn, nose, eyes, ears. And then, of course, you need your tools. You need your treats, and you need your leash. Okay, I'm gonna call this a moment of empathy, compassion, and understanding. We must understand that every time we put a foreign object on our dogs, they're supposed to fight, flight, avoid, meaning they're not gonna like it. They're not supposed to like it, right? Because it's a foreign object. But there is a way where your energy and your empathy and compassion can help and adapt to this new tool that you just put in order for you to connect, communicate, and have a relationship of trust, respect, and love. Because ultimately, the leash is for connection, communication, to attain trust, respect, and love. So our model for today is gonna be Champ. He's our Great Dane. He's around three to four years old. So he's gonna be the model showing you guys where it stands within the body and how it lands, right? And you can use it in any dog that have a snout. It's kind of hard to do it with Frenchies. It's kind of hard to do it with Bulldogs. But I'm going to show you with dogs that have a snout. Your leash has to be ready, nice and open. This is what I was saying about the energy. You have to stay calm. The food makes the excitement enough. You don't need to be excited. You don't need to be saying, you want a treat? You want all of that? Because they're just going to start bouncing, barking, running. And it's going to be hard to put the leash on. Come on, Chem. Chem. Good boy. Hey, so a good boy. So you have your food, you present it. He goes through it. That's his well metal. Then this has a special ring that as soon as you make another little loop, you put it right through his nose. So it looks like the way the halters are for horses. You would think in a dog like this, he looks like a horse. Okay. Then after that, you reward and you invite your dog to walk with you. Perfect. Come on, champ. Good boy. What, once he has the Mexican halter on, leash all the way in the top. You bring the loop, the little loop. See when the nose is in the ground? Watch when we put the loop on his nose. We control how the nose moves. Also, we control what the eyes see. It's literally a, a good training wheels for us to keep the nose and the eyes in one direction. Okay. The nose is not gonna be picking up things in the floor and the eyes is not gonna be scouting around. Let's do it again. So this is the, uh, the ring that, uh, that, that we have in our leash, so right here. It's also is used as a blockage, a, a, as a lock, so it doesn't go all the way in the back. 
So it has a stop, it's a stopper, right? So that's as far as it goes here. And what I do is I bring it, he I bring it to the front, bring the leash forward, and create the Mexican loop, the Mexican halter, and create the Mexican halter. Come here. Here is your leash. This is the stopper. You run the leash through it like this. This is gonna end up in the back of the head. Good boy. And this ends up in the front of the mouth. Right here. Good boy. Now let's do it with food and, and our hands. Again, champ. Food, go through the leash, you give the treat, open the, the small area, put them in the nose, give the treat. So it's that positive association in order for them to know, okay, so if I wear this thing, they're gonna give me food, I don't understand the next step. So the next step is to move. And this is where your calm, confident, love and joy energy is important. Once he gives you two steps, then you give food again. Again, the dog is associating, your dog is gonna be associating, that the reason why you put in the Mexican halter on is to remove the nose away from the ground and to keep the eye contact in the direction that you want. It's similar as you're driving a car. You wanna keep your eyes on the road, right? And at the same time, we are giving him something to remember, right? Which is the treat. It doesn't physically bother them, you know, uh, it's just in the beginning, it's unnatural. It's, it's not normal for them. So remember, we're going we're gonna to use empathy, compassion, and understanding of why they might not like it or want to take it away. A lot of times people say, my dog doesn't like the halter, which is like the equivalent of the Mexican halting, right? It's not that they don't like it. They're supposed to express that they're not familiar with. And then your job is to make sure that you help them adapt to this tool they will save their life, they will give them ability to practice, follow, play, explore, or whatever you want to do. Come on, Sham. Walk with a purpose. Good boy, champ. Come on, champ. Good boy, champ. Good boy, champ. Come on, champ. Good boy. Good boy, champ. Good boy. And I'm always going to remind the world, better human, better planet. Better human, better dog. I hope our tips give you a sense of confidence, a sense of understanding, a sense of guidance, a sense of how things really work so you can have the most amazing relationship with your dog. Always remember that your energy speaks to a dog that the way you move, it speaks to a dog. And what you put on them, also let them know how much you love them. Have a good day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And join me on my mission of letting